Okay, we're going to learn about the difference between the preterite and the imperfect. So these are two <coughs> um, very common past tenses in Spanish. And uh, what makes them kind of a little bit diff difficult for English speakers to understand is that we don't differentiate between these two tenses as much as they do in Spanish. So the preterite tense is for completed actions. Storyline verbs are things that happened. So, for example, if I wanted to tell you what I would what I did yesterday, I would use mostly um, preterite verbs. Probably, I woke up, I took a shower, I brushed my teeth, I brushed my hair, I ate breakfast. All those would be preterite verbs. Um, I went to work. Now, the imperfect are for things that were going on, or and they weren't finished in a moment. Um, so, if I wanted to say while I was going to work, I would use the imperfect. Um, also, I can describe things in the past, like saying things I used to do. I can set the scene, so I can say, the sky was blue, there were birds singing, uh, there, there was um, a lot of people, you know, all these, all these different things um, to describe the, the surroundings and kind of set the scene. Um, I can use things like I used to, to say I, I used to work as a, as a teacher at BYU, or I used to be a student at BYU, or I, I used to live in Minnesota, um, and then also we can use it to, to give context to a situation. So, for example, if, if I wanted to say... While I was walking, I fell. So while I was walking, that would be the imperfect part of the sentence, and I fell is that kind of the storyline, the, the plot, the action word. Um, so while I was walking gives context to the having um, fallen, kind of what was happening when I fell. Uh, and, and so, again, preterite is more for completed actions, those those things that, that happened, and imperfect is for the things that were going on or what th the situation was like when, um, when the preterite things happened. Uh, in, in almost every situation where you have an imperfect verb, in that same paragraph, you're going to have a preterite verb. Or um, you can also use it to kind of contrast imperfect things that used to be true or were true with things that are true now. Um, so you could say, whereas I used to be uh, a teacher, I'm now a programmer. Or whereas I used to work for Dairy Queen, I now work for uh, Time Warner. All these different things that y you're comparing and contrasting uh, the past with the present. Um, so that's a, a brief introduction to the preterite versus imperfect. Thank you.